Hi everyone, uh, uh, in this video I would like to discuss about one of the important topic uh, that, is, uh, uh, that is nanomaterials, uh, nanoscience and technology uh, which is uh, uniting all the uh, engineering branches, science and engineering branches. Uh, first of all, uh, let us understand uh, what is this nanomaterial. Okay. Uh, when you see through a naked eye, you will not see anything here. Uh, I think uh, you can see here. If you see the same thing uh, using uh, transmission electron microscope, that is STEM, uh, we see something. Uh, they are called nanomaterials. Nanomaterials uh, you can't see by uh, just with naked eye. You have to make use of uh, sophisticated electron microscope. Uh, for example, uh, this is actually a zinc oxide uh, powder. Uh, this powder, uh, when you see through the lake dye, it looks like this. It's a white powder, it's just a powder. Okay. When uh, when you see this uh, zinc oxide powder uh, using uh, the same transmission electron microscope, uh, you will see uh, something beautiful and something unique. Uh, if you see the same powder through this microscope, electron microscope, you will see something like this. Uh, these are the zinc oxide nanoflowers. This is the beauty of this uh, nanotechnology and nanomaterials. Let us define, uh, yeah, you can also see uh, the same zinc oxide uh, uh, prepared by different methods. Uh, we can get uh, nanoflowers, nanoplates and all. Uh, the same zinc oxide is obtained by uh, obtained in different uh, shapes. Uh, this you can see uh, through the uh, transmission electron microscope. Then what are these nanomaterials? Nanomaterials are the aggregates of uh, particles, materials with an average grain size uh, less than uh, nanometers. Uh, we know that uh, this nano word originates from the Greek language. It means that nano means dwarf, small. Uh, in uh, scientific language, uh, it is a prefix which has the value equal to 1 billion. That means 10 power minus 9, uh, that much small. Uh, for that, we call it as nano. So, 1 nanometer is 1 billionth of a nanometer. 1 billionth of a nanometer. Uh, let us understand this uh, uh, the meaning of nano. With other examples, uh, if the diameter of hydrogen atom is about 0.1 nanometer, okay. if you align the 10 hydrogen atoms in single line, then uh, the length would be 1 nanometer. Okay. Uh, another example is 5. If you align uh, 5 silicon atoms in a one line, the length of the 5 silicon atom is uh, 1 nanometer. And also, a single strand of human hair. Is around 20,000 nanometer in dimension. 20,000 nanometer. Okay. And a nanometer is uh, 1 millionth of a millimeter or approximately 1 lakh times smaller than the diameter of a uh, uh, human ear. And we know that this uh, DNA we know and uh, the size of DNA is about uh, 2.5 nanometer. And this is just a comparison of uh, uh, the nanometer and the micrometer and macrometer scale and uh, you can see this uh, this and we can see it is the size of this is 5 millimeter and the dust might be can see uh, if you see through microscope it is around 200 micrometer uh, human ear still small next is our blood cells red blood cells it is 2 to 5 micrometer then uh, we have uh, DNA DNA is 2 to 12 nanometer. So, DNA, all these blood, blood cells, uh, nanometers is coming after blood cells. And these are all the artificial uh, nano machines uh, made uh, in during the present days. Uh, this is another slide showing uh, uh, the artificial and uh, naturally uh, grown uh, nano materials. Uh, so the, the uh, ant, dust mite, blood cells, DNA, and these are all uh, things man-made, and this is uh, things natural. Okay, nano world uh, is coming in this scale. Okay, 
it is less than 100 nanometer and this whatever the materials which are having this dimension we consider them as nanomaterials more than that we consider that as a micro world and then macro world which is uh, visible uh, nanomaterials are, are of great interest uh, because they have unique uh, quite different optical magnetic electrical and other uh, properties uh, this is because of a greater surface to volume ratio okay i'll just uh, briefly explain the uniqueness of this nanomaterial by taking only the optical property we know that the gold is actually yellow okay all the gold we are using we are using for jewelry and other things it is yellow color okay but uh, if you take this gold uh, into nano size nano size uh, it is a quadrilateral solution solution of gold nanoparticles and you can see the colors colors are completely changed uh, from red to purple even in nano of different size uh, this is small and this is bigger but even in nano dimension also they show different colors the optical property of this nano gold is completely changed uh, that is the beauty of nano and another example is the silver uh, we know that uh, this is the color of the silver and uh, you have seen if you go to the nano uh, size silver or if you prepare nano size silvers you can see even if uh, different shapes you will give different colors these are the nano prisms silver nano prisms nano spheres of uh, gold this is gold and this is also gold and this is silver of 100 nanometer uh, size the spheres silver spheres 80 nanometer can you, you can see same time shape but different size but different colors okay you want the prisms uh, of same uh, size spheres silver spheres 100 nanometer this color uh, silver nano prisms of same size are different color the color optical property of this nano particle not only depends on the size it also depends on the shape and this is just a comparison of uh, atom nano particles and bulk materials we are talking in between atoms and atoms molecules and the bulk material nano particles uh, clusters they come in between atom and uh, bulk material. The size of this atom is one uh, less than uh, angst, less than nanometer means angstrom 10 to the minus uh, 10 uh, meter. Uh, nanoparticles uh, 10 to the minus 10 to 10 to the minus 9 meter. Uh, bulk particles greater than micrometer. A number of particles consisting in atoms and molecules is one to uh, maybe some uh, 50 or uh, uh, 100. And in nanoparticles, two to several thousands. And in bulk, we have infinite number of atoms or molecules of the particles. The electronic structures in the atom scale it is confined. They have less freedom to for the moment. Even nanoparticles also, the electrons of uh, uh, electronic structure is confined. They can't move freely in all the dimension because their size is restricted. But in case of bulk material, uh, the electronic structure is uh, continuous okay, because the size is more. And similarly, the geometrical structure, the atoms and uh, molecule structure can be clearly defined and predictable. Even for the nanoparticles and nanoclusters, the, we can define the structure and the predictable. Bulk material uh, we actually define in terms of crystal structure. Okay, and these are some of the examples for uh, this nano and the, uh, its comparison. Okay. What we understand uh, uh, a little bit of nano. If you uh, if this video is useful please like it comment it and share it and please subscribe uh, for more updates thank you